that is ready. scary over there. Yo. Welcome to the Roman Atwood Podcast. We have some serious legends in the house today. Happy birthday, Granny, 96 years old. Let's give it up. Yes. Yeah. 96. That's right. You are a beautiful creature. Thank you. Doesn't look a day over 95. She's stunning, man. How are you? I'm doing good. Doing good? Did you, have a, did you go hard last night for your birthday? Did you party uh, hard? Oh, yes. We got the tequila out? Where? Uh-uh. Oh, yes. I always have a drink for the day. <laughs> we got Ross Smith the day. in yeah. the house. We've got My man, boys. I don't even know how to intro you guys, man. Sammy, John, Country. What up, baby? This, like, What's going we, on? We, they look like some They're bullies. our bodyguards. Yeah, just, just put <laughs> us on the back of the bus, man. Don't mess with us right here. It's intense. Yeah, we're here. We're here. here. It's intense Let's over go. here. We're snuggling back here, I'll be honest. <laughs> so we've, we've added uh, last week's couch to the corner for all these guys, and we're going to roll a full, wild, chaotic episode today. So Yeah, it's been too serious, man. It, we've had a pretty serious uh, run over the last uh, 10 episodes. Yeah. Last week's was pretty wild, though. Britt got wild. Yeah, I know. I don't know if I want to listen to it. It's like too. I mean, <laughs> Grandma, I don't know if she can hear that kind of stuff. You can do it. <laughs> so right, right out the gate, we're Ohio boys. Yep. We uh, we never even knew we lived near each other. I don't think. I didn't know you lived here. I didn't know who you were until I think John. Uh, told I was a big were. fan. John's my man. Well, you're not that no. big, bro. You're not, you're not no, that big, bro. I got, I got bigger I fans. Jokes off the bat, <laughs> hey. No pun intended. That's oh, why I have What, what do um? Well, just it's weird. We didn't meet in Ohio for the first time. That's right. Should I dive into it right off the bat? Okay. okay. I guess, dude. I mean, just for the people who didn't know, you're gonna have lawyers hitting me up. You're gonna have. We went down to our friend Travis Pastrana's house, and they were shooting a movie. And this guy named Roman says, "Hey, man, do you want to ride this side by side with me?" Never met him in my life. Never met him. I Travis was like, "I don't side know." By side. Yeah, Travis is Travis is strapping me down. He's like, "Make sure your head can't hit the ceiling." I was like, "Dude, we're just going for like a little ride around the property." Nothing. We both what were like, happen? we were both like, we're just chilling. Don't worry about it. Travis is like, "No, no, no, no." Straps yeah. us in tight. Thank God. So I'm holding the <laughs> GoPro. Also, thank God for that because uh, number one rule is. If something were to happen, you a lot of people stick their hands out yeah, the door and they snap habit. their arms. Yeah. Well, Roman's getting a little confident. He starts hitting these jumps, and we did it once. And I was like, okay, let's go a little faster. But I remember there was like three jumps, and Roman thought there was four. So on the fourth jump, Roman just gunned it, and we ran into a tree. We smashed into a tree. And I've like I've never bonded so quickly with someone because I look over and like. You can see like the birds and stars coming out of your eyes and like your your face mask is broken. Bro, I remember saying, are you okay mid-roll? Yeah. We were still rolling and, and I was I, so worried about you. I look forward and the tire is like 50 <laughs> yards ahead of us rolling down to like a mountain. And I'm like, what did we just do? And then uh, some random country guy comes out and he starts yelling so at mad. us. And he's like, you broke my toys. Who are you guys? Why are you back here? And Roman's like, we'll pay for it. And I was like... Roman will pay for it. I don't have any money. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, my neck's been hurting well, ever since. Well, now you do after the, yeah, after you sued me for the neck injuries. Yeah. Loaded now. Got, now you got all these cool toys, dude. What's up with that? Yeah, man. You want to come on the boat you paid for? <laughs> <laughs> that is a crazy story, though. I about broke your neck on that, dude. Yeah. And you were worried about your teeth. You're like, my teeth okay? Yeah, because I bit down on them. And Travis was like, did you get it on film? And I think you were rolling a GoPro somewhere. Yeah. And he's like, if you filmed it, you don't pay for it. That's the good. rule. So we, we got out Scott Freeman. Jack's yeah. great guy. Besides the neck injury. Have you given her any fun rides? I saw she got a new car. That's <laughs> epic. I'll throw Did it on the screen now. Should I? Can I? Yeah, well, yeah, you can. Has it been out? There's two cars she got in one week. We're going to drive the other one here today. She got a car yesterday for her birthday. Yeah, that's what I wanted to say, and I didn't. What'd you get? I got this car, deluxe. I love the colors. I love the pictures on it. And uh, I'm going to start learning to drive. Hang on, there's oh. pictures on the car? So we got two cars. I got her, we'll, we'll throw them both up here. Okay. Okay. Right. Uh, the first one is, I just decided to take this uh, tiny, t mini type, what is it called? Little Tyke's car and yep. make it. Yeah, the old, the old put thirty thing. inch rims on a smart car. Essentially, what we did, mm -hmm. and then like, and it's sick and huge, it sounds nasty. Huge engine and everything. And then yesterday for her birthday, I got her like a Thug Mobile van. <laughs> so her face is all over it. It says Thug Life, uh, straight out of the nursing home. Love it. The pictures. <laughs> and then we got pedal extensions for these. Yep. You, you can, can drive it. It's gonna be yeah, our they can drive. It. Drive I drove it, it yesterday without pedal extensions, and it was a little scary. And Granny was in the car, so I was like. Got a lot of value in this car right now. I got to be careful, but we're going to be taking her to Youngstown and stuff, all the mm. good places. Yeah, 
to the clubs. Mm-hmm. So it's going to be fun seeing us Plenty of up. seats. We could take the whole entire podcast there. That's how many it, seats so it's big. Go. Yeah, minivan, man. Oh, my God. It's gonna I love fun. it. They're going to be my chauffeurs. Yeah. Yeah. You I'll need just, chauffeurs. I, I do. Do you drive currently? Can you drive? Does she have a valid license? You want to hear something crazy? 96. 96. Never driven. I don't think Never I'll, in her entire that's right. life. I actually knew that. I actually knew that. She claims one time she drove grandpa home drunk because he was <laughs> hammered at the bar and she was sticking her hand out the window doing hand signals. <laughs> it's the truth. Were you scared to drive or you just, why did you choose never to drive? I truly, I don't know what happened in my life. Uh, I guess I was swayed a different way and. Here I am. <laughs> Could ride a mean horse, though. I was going to say, you probably spent a, a little while on horses, no? Yeah. <laughs> she, she, she'll, she'll literally walk like five miles still. Just I, good dude, horses. I've done it with her. We've been to Las Vegas together. Oh, We've been yeah. to, uh, the, the, where did we go that one time? Was that Jake Cleveland? Paul or something? Yeah. Jake Cleveland. Paul. Dude, she kept up better than everybody. She was in that party bus all night. Yeah. The hot Legendary. and cold party bus. Definitely, yeah. on a, uh, definitely in a vlog somewhere. She's... Beast. Literally a legend. I think that's Literally. I think that's a little key to longevity is walking. I, I think that's it because her diet is garbage. But her I know. diet probably started out really good when she was young. This, right? this is funny. No. Oh well. Yeah. She ate farm food. Yeah. yeah. She had a so farm. That We've, gives you a good foundation. We've spent so much time talking health on this podcast. Granny rolls up 96, lives on Mountain Dew and Doritos. Yep. Yo. That's hard to that's argue what with. We're talking about, and then she's right like, there. that's real thug life. The craziest <laughs> thing is she'll go to bed at like 11 o'clock at night with a Mountain Dew. And we're like, Granny, how did you sleep last night? Oh, terrible. Because you had a Mountain Dew. That <laughs> caffeine makes me jump off the wall. Yeah. I can't imagine what it does to her at yeah. 96 years old. Tell them what you do when you can't sleep. You get up and what do you have? I have my chips. I you, have my Mountain Dew. What else? When you can't <laughs> sleep at, at your house, you get up and you drink what? A coffee. In the middle of the night? Yes. When I'm in my uh, Youngstown, yeah. if I can't sleep, it's around 2 o'clock. I make myself a cup of coffee, turn the TV on, and just chill. And then when I think it's time to go back to bed, I do and fall asleep right away. Liver King, uh, let's just watch say out. Nutrition. Granny's coming after you right now. This is the new era of how to survive <laughs> hey, and live a long life. I don't Why think his it mic's on. so bad? Who? Country's mic's not on. What do you mean? I'm only hearing him out of John and Sam's oh, mic. It's, uh, it's not going to your boss. Try that again, no. Country. Try again. <laughs> there we go. That's okay. good. That's good. That's good. How about you hear me? So, so you were yeah. recording, but it wasn't coming through here. Yeah. So Got what's it. on the what's on the TV at two a.m. when you get up? What do you watch? Oh. It depends. I uh, just keep changing the channel. Speaking of depends, it depends on what I want to watch. <laughs> Can we cut to our first ad? <laughs> yeah, our made up ads for this episode. <laughs> yeah, we made up ads. Depends. We have Granny's depends. We have uh, Preparation H because one of my friends here has a bad case of the hemorrhoids. <laughs> Wait, who's got hemorrhoids? Oh, I saw his face uh, light up, bro. <laughs> Yo, I didn't raise he my hand. <laughs> bro, that was the most disgusting picture I've ever seen. He's you like, got hey, pictures? Man, no, you want to see he, it? I'm like, no. no he, Flashed it in front of my face. I almost bro, threw when up. Bro, you said that, his... I didn't even have to ask, bro. He was like, don't yeah, bring that up. He just called me out all of a sudden. No, yay. How about we explain how it happened, Sam? Yeah. Was he was scary about it. He was raising his hand over here like this. And I'm like, who is it? Even better, every, even better country's like, thank God he took the heat. Yeah. <laughs> oh, damn. He got it too. Oh, man. man. That's a good looking couch over there, man. So two great sponsors. Oh. We got Preparation H. We got Depends. And we actually have one later. We'll, we'll save that. Yeah, we got to save the sponsors. Yeah. Our made up sponsors. Granny, what what is what is something that's happened in your life that you would just love to share to the world? I feel like you could inspire a lot of people. How do you get to 96? Obviously not driving and drinking a ton of crap. Well, my faith and hard work. Faith and hard work. I have always worked. And that's what brought me here. You are one of the hardest workers that I know. <laughs> I see it when you guys are creating videos. This is no joke. You guys are working. Like those yeah, well, viral clips are not always easy. Well, yeah, when she's not filming, she just goes and like strains the whole house up. I'm like, dude, you don't have to pick up 10,000 Legos. We'll get someone to do it. Like, no, no, I got to do it. I got to do it. 10,000 Legos. I mean, it's literally like a situation. She's your cleanup crew. Yeah. Uh, what was your favorite job growing up? Like, uh, Let's say I uh, worked on an assembly line. What'd you build? Tell them. That's the, I think this is a cool story. Tell oh, them, cool. Tell them what you did when you were, what, 18 years old? 
and a little bit, um, a little over. I worked at a bomb factory during World War II. A bomb factory? Yes. Well, now we're demonetized, so tell me about it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, we made bombs. Dude, she saved our lives. Come on. So what is that process like? Well, we worked on assembly line. My dad, my two sisters, and myself, four, because my brother, he was in the service. And we, yes. The whole family was making bombs. Yeah, we Granny was, made sure they worked. You hit him with a hammer at the end. <laughs> All right, that yeah. one's good. Uh, <laughs> Don't we, at me. Yeah. That ain't thug we life. We wanted to help our, our, our boys, our troops, and we were very faithful. Oh, oh yeah. God. Now, that arsenal still stands. It's about uh, 10 minutes from my house. And uh, let's say... Uh, but right now, they have igloos. They put the bombs in the igloos. And uh, the National Guard has taken over and put their equipment 18 there. 18 years old building. Wow. Uh, you go to jail for that now. Yeah. <laughs> what the yeah. Heck? yeah, they're just trusting like little kids. Like We had nothing. Well, yeah. She handed me something a few years back. It was a roll of pennies that were... Um, Silver. I don't know what the what the they were made. Of. They were silver colored. I don't know what they were made of. Maybe okay. Um, and I was like, why are these silver pennies? And they would take the brass or copper from the original pennies, and they had to melt them down to make bombs and ammunition. Jeez Louise. That's how like that's what how crazy people had to come together. Like women were working. Like she is literally Rosie the Riveter. Wow. Yeah. You like, said wow. Holy cow! I don't know where to go with that. You uh any anything else you built? I'm not built. I worked on assembly line for General Motors. Yeah, after that. She built a big drug empire. She's a huge drug dealer now. Is that when is that when Ford started? <laughs> oh. No, the bomb started first. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, as uh, I kept uh, going on and on to jobs. Where dad had a Model T? What year were you born? 1926. Wow. Yeah. It's hard to believe because she did date George Washington, so I don't know how that all... Yeah, I dated George Washington. Good for you, I Granny. Did. Wow. Good for you, Granny. It's been around the block. God, I've done nothing that cool in my entire life. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Made some pipe bombs when I was a kid. That's about <laughs> it. That's about it. Blow up barrels. I was lucky probably survive that. John and Sam, look at you. Oh, look at you guys. Chilling. You guys have some interesting stories lately. Um... I, I don't know what these conventions are called. Okay, so yeah, they're uh, little people conventions called Little People of America. And 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 we're not allowed at them. You no. are allowed. I just won't invite Ross because I hang out with him all year round. I want to have a week where I feel normal for once in my life. <laughs> so I get one week where I only hang out with my small friends. Okay, so it's a whole week nice. of... Little just, people. Yeah, little people. So there's partying, there's sports, but John and I- We don't play the sports because yeah. we do too much of the first thing. Yeah, <laughs> we ended up partying and like stay up till like 3 a.m. And then waking up hung over the next day and just keep going. It's the week that we need a bender. And afterwards, like we don't do anything for a week. Is this like uh, what happens at- Little people convention stays there. Or you guys want to talk about it? I um, mean, you, you know what? We're open books. Yeah, so. we, we are, how but. PG does this podcast need to be? Because your your next qu that question is gonna <laughs> that, <laughs> you it just can lead to a lot of things. You just opened up a whole new world for us right now. Let like, me ask you this: Can of worms. Right Let here, me ask right? you this: Is this like a week? Since you're with how many little people? Thousands? Probably 2,000, 1,500, 2,000. Yeah. There's that many. Yeah, there's a lot. There, of there's us, even man. more that don't go to the convention. Like yeah. it's crazy. They have a whole army. The whole little army. <laughs> yeah, Shit, little, little armada yeah. for sure. Okay, so would this be like, is this the week that you're possibly looking for a soulmate? Soulmate at this age, Roman, I just can't. How old are you, John? Come on. I'm 24, but I just can't settle down yet. How much uh, time do you think you got, bro? Uh, I think the average lifespan of a little person <laughs> is like 85, but. Dang, dude. Uh, we'll see. Climbing up on granny numbers. <laughs> yeah. We'll see. Average. Me, on the other hand, you know, I kind of, yeah. All right, let me, marriage. Let me, I'm the lover boy. As an adult. Can you have four soulmates? Because John probably had about that. Dude, like, every time I every time I see one of them, every time, I think I'm in love. I think I'm in love. I think this is the one. Uh, so did you hook up with any other little people? Yeah. Most definitely. 100%. It happens. 100%. Yes. Just as adults, it's, you did. It is yeah. the greatest week of our year it is. for sure. Uh, it's fun. Like, especially as little kids, we look forward to it. But now I feel like I look forward to it more. All right, how many? In the week? Yeah. 
Oh, me one and then uh, an A P as well. A P average A-A-P. person. Cause oh, because we, we're average height. Yeah. Yeah. And so it's kind of a funny story. She actually worked at the bar that we were in the hotel at. And <laughs> when, just, when that happens, is is that like? They're fetish, or they they really attracted you. I, don't I don't believe know. it's a fetish. I, I believe it's a fetish, and it's honestly, so I think she was just overwhelmed with all the little people that she was seeing in one week. You know, me like the Zac Efron mini. You really do got it. I think she wanted to cross it. I think she wanted to cross it off her bucket hey, list. Hey, and it was a good list. I was a good guy to cross it off with. Okay, so one for one for Sam. Well, two. Yeah, yeah two. two. John. Uh, three Whoa! little people. Hey, this yeah. guy. But, yeah. but they had like a little scoring system, and uh, Sammy got two points for his. Uh, Double the height. Yeah. Full sizes, two points. Yep. Yeah. Yep. You dirty dogs. Hey, yeah. it only makes sense, doesn't it? I, I don't know. I don't think I'm worth <laughs> two <laughs> points. But. You'd be worth two points in my book, Roman. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Just, just yeah, so I had to take him to the clinic right yeah, after that just, because, yeah, uh, you know, just, they're filthy. You guys are wild. You don't need to bring me to the clinic. I wear protection at all times, Ross. Thank you. And that yeah. brings up our third sponsor. <laughs> <laughs> Magnum! Trojan. Aren't those the... Uh, the what are those? Finger condoms? Yeah. 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 <laughs> no. Oh, my God. Can I, can I, I hope Granny doesn't hear any of this. Is, 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 is it's the, only magnified yeah. in her headphones. Is, is, the, is, the, is, is the... God, I can't even say it. Do you think the average height people want to see if it's normal size? 100%. Oh, 100%. That's what it is. 100%. 100%. It's maybe weird, but you can just ask Ross. He knows all about it. Well, you're always running Number, around naked. They yeah. are. Number one question, if I do like a Q&A with them. Yeah. Is how big is it? Okay. Is it? And they, well, they're very confident in yeah. there. Yeah, pretty big. Well, when you're half well, size, it's probably a little easier. Yeah, to- well, if you look at it this way, we have a large head, we have a big butt. Oh. So, like, like what it all else adds gonna, up. Bro. And look at my feet. My feet aren't tiny either. And you know what they say big feet, big, yeah. Big, big socks. socks. Yeah, big yeah. socks. Yeah. So. Everybody knows that. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's all awesome, shopper socks. What a, what a what a place to go! I, I would love to just yeah, maybe we invite just, you next year. It's in Austin, Texas. Yeah, we will. I'm barely average height. Dude. Yeah, bro, you're I pretty am, short. Yeah. You'd be good. In my just mind, I'm sitting in here between wondering, like they're talking about their penises and their size, and you know how how their ass compares to their head. And Country, I'm like, you're on the edge of that couch here? right now, I'm like on the that edge meme right here. <laughs> Get He's close. got a small little sandwich right now. You look like the meme guy sitting on the edge of that couch Country's right definitely now. coming to the Little People Convention with us next year. Where, can I go? Yeah, you can where's come. It, it? It's in Austin, you, Texas. Yeah, it's in Austin, Texas. I've been working on this. Ross can't go. Like, can't go, Texas. but country. Oh, all all right, right, let me ask you this. If you got the invite, is that so that you could hook up with? No. <laughs> I just want to no meet interest, their friends. No interest. No. I don't have interest. Oh, I, I think that's a lie. He's curious. He's definitely curious. I'm curious to watch them like. Do you do want? Thing. Do either of you? Do you want to marry an average height woman, or little? little uh, woman? If I could choose, probably average height at the moment. But I don't want to get married right now. No, I don't. John, yeah, no. John, I'm not trying to get you married today, bro. You can settle <laughs> down. Yeah, you're talking about marriage this whole time. Are you married right now? Like, no. Nah, should hey. we bring up your trip to Rhode Island that you just had recently? Oh, we're chill. How about you? Do you want to get married? Uh, <laughs> honestly, in the moment, no. But and uh, so I have Sammy's a question. A lover. If you if you guys do get married, who actually you allowed to do the bachelor party? So you, like the, I feel like you can yeah do it. you can do it, bro. We'll give <laughs> I throw bangers. Ross is getting yeah. kicked out of yeah. everything. Yeah. Ross is getting Ross. your right hand man. You're I, just like Ross. I, I I believe you do you, you will do the ultimate bachelor party. I'll, I'll do it with I do you. Believe oh that. yeah, right. he would. You come That'd be cool. Can I ask I will, a, can I ask a real there. question? Of course, I genuinely don't know. Yes, if you. Had a baby with a little person, would you could you have a full size kid? 100%. Uh, yeah, yes, 100%. I think what it's like, I think it's currently 50 50. 50 really? 50, yeah. And then there's That's also the thing, like, no, it's not 50 50, it's like yeah, 50 it 40, and then there's a 10% chance. No, but if, I'm pretty sure they've already worked on that though. Okay. Like, but science. there used to be like a 10% chance where if two little people have a kid together, they're it's called like double dominant, and where the kid comes out like just not okay and it doesn't have a really big chance of living. Are your parents? Yeah, both of mine and John's parents are average height. We have Fully no, average no yes. dwarf Siblings history too. in the family. Ah. My dad's 6'2", and my mom's 5'7". No way. Like, no. I'd be a tank. Just made a little legend. If, yeah, if, if I was average height, I probably would be a tank. I'd oh, be, that's I'd what be they the all say. If I was average height, I'd be a professional athlete in the NBA. <laughs> yeah. Like, bro, you're short and live like that. Get over it. Oh, yeah. Like, <laughs> gosh. John's had this talk before. Yeah, yeah he got Oh, I want to be in the NBA, but I've accepted, like, I'm four foot one. He's like, 
like in the out. mirror right now. <laughs> yeah, he like, is. Get over it. John bro. is a huge NBA fan, and it's, I think it's so funny to me because he's. It's funny that you say huge. Who's your team in the NBA? I love the Raptors. Yeah, he's Canadian. So Raptors all the way. Are you a big Drake fan too? I love Jersey. I love him. Yeah, that was a great year. Yeah, it was an amazing year. I cried that year a lot of times. You did? Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah, deep. He, he also that's backed deep. out on a bet. He was supposed to get a Raptors tattoo if they won the championship, and he never did. <sighs> what happened? Dude, right? a yeah. tramp stamp with a little claw? Yeah, how sick would that be? Yeah. Dude, that, that would kill at the Little People Convention. That would kill. Does Granny, ha Granny have any tattoos? Yeah. Oh, no. No tattoos? No. Great what segue. Happened? Granny has given a tattoo to someone in this room. Oh, yeah. Are Actually, we allowed what? to show it? You want me to take off my pants right now? Oh, you got a tattoo from Granny? Yes. Yeah, she's not only in. from Granny, of yeah, Granny. It's of her as well. Can and we and show she it? she did it. Oh my God, you, you did. You did it. Yeah. You yeah. drew it. He did. I don't know. Sorry. I don't want to like push any yeah, boundaries. Can we show here. it? Is it? Is it safe? You got underwear on oh, there. Oh, it's safe. Yeah. yeah it's cool. no, we also cut the we'll, we'll just we'll just cut the camera once you show. Right, it. Close your eyes for a second. I'm yeah. closing my eyes. Oh okay. my country! <laughs> Let's get out of here. <laughs> you said you had underwear on, dude. Yeah, you show the camera. The camera's in front of you, dude. Hang on, Chase. It's there. Shoot oh, Adam. <laughs> oh, there it is. There it is. Yep, it's right there. <laughs> Here, I will point it out. <laughs> there you go. A lot dude. is going down on this couch right now. That's hair placement. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, wait. So which part did Granny tattoo? Uh, the mouth area. She filled it in. Yeah, it's, she's not very good at I would, What do you mean? It looks amazing. Yeah, yeah we had a pro helper. Good job, Granny. <laughs> it's, it's my favorite tattoo. I, I only have one tattoo. Actually, two. But oh, his would, um, second tattoo. Don't, don't would you tattoo Ross on the other leg? <laughs> oh, I would. Uh, his face isn't as cute as Granny's. So, so do you <laughs> use that? I wouldn't want my face on his leg. When you're trying to connect with a girl, are you like, yeah, that's my grandma. God rest her soul. I forget about it. And then when the deed happens and I pull down my pants, their first reaction is, oh, and then I just have to explain who it is. And they're like, oh my God, that's the cutest thing ever. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure like, it helps. I'm like, let's get back to business. Sorry, so that's, my, that's my ex. I, I wish I, I would have like, never got the, it. The hardest, the, hardest thing, the hardest thing is, the hardest thing is, they bring up granny like mid thing. I'm like, okay, now like I am just, my head went out this window now. <laughs> yeah. We're not Yo, gonna do this anymore. It, no, it really, it kills the whole mood. Because they know granny. It happens yeah. every single time too. And then I just have to stop and bring it up. I'm like, oh my God. Bro, can you put your pants back on? I'll just get to sit on the couch and break it in a little bit. <laughs> is it safe to say that Granny has been viewed more times than probably all of us combined? Do you think? Because of viral videos, probably. Yeah, I think I think so. I man. mean, you have like such a like core, like your core audience is way more like powerful than anything like anybody could touch. But like but visually viral in that hair. I know when we go places together, Granny is taking photos and everybody knows her. Uh, yeah, celebrities it's know this, her. It's, it's the staff, it's the celebs, it's the yeah. kids, it's our our Audience is so crazy. And, and she draws them in. Dude, I never seen such good smiles on. Shaquille O'Neal sees her and lights up. Chris yeah. Pratt lights up. Yeah. It's like real celebrities just like, they it's love like you, Granny. Dog. Yeah. yeah, exactly. <laughs> you just, you radiate this big old heart. You have um, fun with it. Your favorite thing. What's your favorite thing about making the videos? Uh, meeting pe uh, new people. Mm. I love people. Yeah. And when I meet the new people, it brings me joy. Oh, that's yeah, awesome. Because I'm, I'm running the show back in. Like, she doesn't yeah. actually post the videos or make her message. Wait, <laughs> what? Yeah, I know, crazy. Hold, oh, just, granny is She's exposed. actually not a gangster. I've too. watched like, her use an iPhone. Yeah. You know, that's not. <laughs> it looks like a, like a yeah, chicken pecking. Um, yeah, but so she doesn't understand, like, like yesterday she got, I don't know, just on a Facebook picture, I think 50,000 uh, comments. 50,000 wow. 50, happy birthday, like genuine messages. Yeah. That's just comments on one picture. And um, she's not going to read any of those. I mean, she can go on her thing, but like I'm the one going through that stuff. So yeah. so she enjoys like the in-person interaction. Yeah. So when COVID hit, like, oh, devastating. Aww. She was ready to get out and get that clout again. And she loves <laughs> clout it. chaser, huh? Yeah. <laughs> um, how, how, many, how many views across the you, – you can see some views, but – yeah, you got to be in the the multi billions. Oh yeah, for yeah. sure. That's insane. We've, we have over ninety million followers across all platforms. There you go. That's, That's a more lot. than all of us combined. That's a lot. Yeah. Well, That's if you bring your old channel back, no, it's still not even close. Not even yeah. close to that. It's insane. Give that give that to John and Sam. Let them have something, yeah. man. Honestly, they little, can have it. Little, little people convention. Yeah, channel. you can have my old channel. I think that would be actually on an OnlyFans. <laughs> I don't think it would be on YouTube. <laughs> Just strip it out. Yeah. So what's what's uh, what's the next move? What's going on? What's the next convention? When's the when's the party? Dude. The, it's every day, yeah, man. It's we honestly, always party. I may be going seeing my 
uh, I don't even say love his interest. little fling. Love my, 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 my little fling for real. Um, in a couple of weeks and just rekindle our relationship and romance. I'm a romantic guy, so you know. Is she full size or no? She's she's half size. size. But oh gosh, I also do have a full size friend in um, Miami. Full size. That didn't sound right. But I like, like a candy I like bar. Full size more than half yeah. size. Yeah, or average. Average. Yeah. They say average because you don't want to be like normal. That doesn't sound right. Well, like, oh, I don't I'm think any of us at this table are normal right now. Well, no, <laughs> but so, granny maybe. Okay, question. So you're saying if two little people have a baby, it's like not good to, right? No, it's yeah. good to, but there's like a 10% chance that it could just come out with a lot of complications. But I think now they, with like the science behind yeah, I think they all the birth, they, they can work on it and change genetics. And However, if we have them okay. with an average height woman, I think it's just... 50-50. 50, 50. 50, 50, like straight up. So there's a fifty so, percent chance my son will make the NBA. No, do you I want like a little baby or a average size? I baby? think the way I want to do it has an aver average size baby first, and then a little person baby. And so if I have a son, he's gonna be six two. But I'm honestly nervous about that. My son's gonna be seven, and I'm gonna tell him no PlayStation today, Johnny. He's just and gonna and whomp beat his yeah, ass. I'm gonna call the cops head. on my son. Bro, I don't. I don't think there could be any better sight than you holding. Your little man <laughs> hand, dude. Like, that would be epic. It would be cute. It would yeah, be cute. it would be mind-blowing. See, I couldn't be married if that was the case, because then me and my son would just be walking in the store, all the moms looking at us. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. You're cute. You're cute. Yeah. Perfect. Right? You yeah. can see that Sammy is obviously the lover. And this is the problem, though. Sammy is always like, in the bar. He's like, crushes it. You know, he gets, he, I swear that in one night I've seen him kiss like 30 girls. But then I know Granny. Wow. Oh Granny's going to think so differently of me now. 30 <laughs> girls. That's more girls than I've kissed in my life. <laughs> <laughs> Granny's been with two people, uh, a highway patrolman. And she named her grandson, her son after him. And then my grandfather. So but we'll get into that later. But anyways, um, Sammy, uh, yeah, he crushes it. And then he get he, the alcohol just hits him because he tries to keep up with me. And, you know. I'm a good 150 pounds bigger than him. So is that a is that a little person problem or is that just you? Oh, Sammy definitely it's huge. It hits no, you. it's a huge little people. I don't it's, not, it's not John. It's not John. The, the, you go to the convention, it happens. But I tried. I'm competitive. I try to keep up. And His name at the little people convention is Slammy. Yeah. Slammy. Yeah. 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 That's pretty good. Yeah. That's pretty good. So John, patient. He's like it's like the tortoise and the hare. You know, uh, yeah. Sammy's the hair. He's and in then the John's just yep. he's just chilling. And I've seen multiple times just happen. clean up Sammy's mess and then <laughs> and crush it. I come with the sweeper and go. All right, now it's my time. At no. one a.m. He's asleep. Is that on the your game? game? It is. So Sammy brings him in. He passes out. You come in. It's sweep. literally. So, I've seen it. So it's, Roman, this is a true story, and <laughs> I'm not going to mention what place in Columbus, Ohio, uh -huh. but. Is one of my it's one of my establishments that I was at, and I I walk in, and who's hanging out with the Columbus Blue Jackets? <laughs> and these guys are just on top of the table, not one beer, two beers, <laughs> and they're just like this, like, and I'm telling you, like having the time of their life, and I was like, it's no way they're here, and I walk up to both of them and. We had the greatest time and, oh, it was, and, and it was, it was just, so just so much fun. Yeah. And um, I have to say, you guys stole the show. Like, you guys are like... We like the party, no, no, but um, but the people that respect you, the Columbus Blue Jacket players are all there. They're just having a ball with you guys. But um, what's great about it is that from the outside looking in, I was like, you made time for everybody that came up to you, you conversated, but eventually... You went into <laughs> slammy, mode. slammy mode <laughs> and slammy mode. Is that like, the night you place. got slammed? <laughs> slammed? No, no. This is, you got oh, oh yeah. So that did happen too once. Yeah, I got two slammed. Who body? There's so many famous, no? I got body Who? slammed. No, he just got slammed yeah, off a stool. I got slammed oh, off okay. a stool. You know the town hall stools. Shout out town hall, but. Oh, they're a little steep for the little guys. That's that's like Mount Everest. Up Lift there. me yeah. up. That was a large yeah. fall. Get yeah. me up. There, that's one thing I think everybody in this this whole group is really good at. I've noticed with you is like just being super friendly with everybody. Yeah, you have me. to. I mean, you I've met to. so many internet people and celebs that are just assholes. Well, and, and we always try to make the your, time. What's your worst one? I wouldn't say it. Oh, come on. I, I did idolize a rapper one time that I listened to his album every single day yeah. on the bus. 
And then I met him in person and I said, man, I used to listen to your, your album every day in seventh grade on the bus. And he said, what a loser. <laughs> I was like, oh man, dude, I was waiting for this my, my whole life. Was it, was it 50 Cent? No, no, I love 50. <laughs> it's, 50 wouldn't do that to me. 50 wouldn't do me like that. Um, no, but, you, you, got, you got to. Every time, even if I, for some reason, like got the kids a little irritated, I'm trying to get somewhere, always got to. Yeah. One, because they're the reason you have everything you have. Exactly. That's, that's my mindset. When we were in Vegas, we were walking through, and some kid's like, smile more, smile more. And I walk up to him, I was like, dude, he's having a bad day. He doesn't want to smile anymore. He's like, oh, my gosh. I'm so sorry. I, I was like, no, nah, so, man, I'm messing with you, bro. I felt so <laughs> yeah. bad. I'm like, oh, God, this guy. No, no, we always, as much love as possible. Yeah, no. Always. And Granny's, the, we can't get her out because she'll say hi to everybody, get their whole yeah. life story, and then they always want to hug her. These guys know, like, dude, they like, the once they see we her, it's like to get gentle. Her to bed, it was like, yeah. okay, it's 2 a.m. I got to get Granny yeah. to bed. She's like, just she's ready for a coffee. Yeah. They're like, more pictures, more pictures. Yeah, she's a star. You're yeah. a star, Granny. At, I've been hearing that. Yeah, so you much. are a shining star, a shooting good. star. Hey. Does it, does it blow <laughs> your mind that, like, she went from, like, Potentially like Morse code. I don't even know what the hell they use when she was growing up. Beep, 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 beep. Like radio. Did you use Morse code? Uh, uh, um, well, not really. Carrier pigeons, whatever but, it was. Uh, we didn't have phones, <laughs> you know, when I was little. Yeah. I lived on a farm. No TV. No TV. Were you building by any chance these bombs for dad or were you building these for the army? <laughs> And we were for our boys, <laughs> our soldier boys. Yeah. Yeah. This wasn't an underground yeah. operation down on the farm. <laughs> Get those groundhogs. <laughs> My <laughs> brothers are doing it. Yeah. She's doing it. I don't know. <laughs> but she went from not having TV and I don't know what your communication was to now she's like a celebrity on the web. How different is that? Like You've watched the earth change. Like that's yeah, crazy. Just, that's the way it is. You were in the Great Depression, yeah? That like, as a kid? That generation. Yeah. Now it's this one. You were in the, tell them about the Great Depression. Well, <clears throat> uh, things were rationed. Our food were rationed. And uh, like I said, uh, living on a farm, we just uh, had plenty of big gardens and all those things. And uh, we had to do our jobs. And we didn't have uh, our Pass, our, our fun time was riding bikes. I lived by a river. We went swimming every morning oh, of the whole good. neighborhood. And then at night, we went ice Skinny skating. Dipping. But the biggest thing I love, going to the roller skating ring. Mm. And they had the music playing. Mm. I loved that, the organ music. And after that was all said and done, we went into town because there was a little restaurant called Eddie's Haven. Mm. And he was open all night. And we just sat in our booths and chit chat till whatever. Man, why does that life sounds so much better? Actually, 100% sounds better to me. Yeah. I miss driving through town. You don't see a single bike in a front yard. Oh, or scooter, whatever it was. Nothing. Dude, everyone's yeah. on video games and watching Netflix, and God, I miss that, dude. I want my kids to ride bikes. I'm like, go think, ride a bike. Do you think mm -hmm. we'll have a depression again? Do you think the country's heading for We're going downfall? to another depression, Granny? What's your prediction? Uh, at this time, uh, something seems like it's going to give. Something has to give, yeah? Uh, it has to crash and then pick up again. Can't just keep printing money, can you? No. Uh, no. Because you got it all underneath your mattress. <laughs> I, that's where I have it. <laughs> uh, what's your address? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> she's about to give it up. Yeah, she, yeah, she thought about it. She's like, it's Roman. I trust him. What's the craziest <laughs> thing you've ever done? The craziest? Yeah. Uh, boy, I got to put two and two together. But I can't think Think about crazy. It. Come on, think back. I think got to. It had been when during filming, man. Oh, she just well, went. one of the crazy things... But that was just not too many years ago. Okay. After my husband died, my neighbor Gail lived right next door. I can almost touch her house. That's how close we live. But every time she went on vacation, she invited me, and I went along. So we went to uh, Las Ve uh, New Orleans. New uh -oh. Orleans. Uh-oh. And there was a big gang. So 
they said, get in the pool. Oh, and we said, all right. A gang. Well, uh, this is the pool in the house. The gang and, got in. Yeah, the gang. The, it was all ladies. Oh. And here, we were putting our bathing suits on. We heard Gail crying. Her hair was on fire. Oh, <laughs> my God. <laughs> yeah. So what kind she, of gang is this? It's sick. <laughs> yeah, that was the gang guy I did crazy things with. Did you do crack with them? <laughs> Not really. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> <laughs> but what, that was one of the craziest. <laughs> Not really. She just <laughs> happened to oh, crack really? with them. Yeah. It was what? kind of maybe so, crack. So, yeah. Wait, how did the hair catch on fire? Uh, uh, she had a bald spot back here for the longest There's a candle, time. I think, but I don't know. I didn't but, know one uh, of my friends. I, the gang members had a flamethrower. <laughs> Yeah. So, <laughs> Where'd this gang come from? Um, so did you I'll throw her you, in the pool? I'll tell you, we had some exciting days. <laughs> like, uh, you know a Mardi Girl? She, I think she went to that. You know, yeah, you get the every beads. time yeah, she yeah. went, get the, she invited yep, you me have to show some skin. Friends. I was all over with her. Did you get any beads while you were there? The what time? Did you get any beads? Necklaces? Oh, necklaces? yeah. Oh, gosh. How did you, how did yes. you get them? <sighs> Uh, at the, in New Orleans, New Orleans, I don't recall right now. Uh, you you recall the, <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to hear how many times you it flash was, people. Uh, it was partying and oh, just God. having a good time. So about the little people. <laughs> 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 I don't want to hear about that anymore. Oh, my God. This is Annie. I didn't know you were giving a little show. You, this is a recorded memory. I know you worked <laughs> in a club, but I didn't know it was that kind of club. Wow. Yeah. Granny, you're a rock star. <laughs> she yeah. shot a 50 cal out of a helicopter last year. Yeah. That like, was swam nuts. with a tiger wow. the year before. Swam An elephant threw her off. Yeah, I feel like if she had a bucket list, they'd all be checked. Is there anything you haven't got to do Drive. that you want to do? I got to think it over a little bit. Yeah, you do. You know. Oh, drive. 96 years to think about this. Yes. And you don't know what you want to. Is there, is there any one thing? That you're like, I want to do this. Before, you want to go like skydiving? Before I call it quits. I'd like diving. to learn to drive. But she really hasn't driven. That's what so I want. Uh, he get has like Jeff Gordon or someone out here. Just yeah, to, get like a real Travis famous driver. Yeah. Uh, he has a Jeep. And uh, side uh, with side. his land, he can go. teach me to uh, drive. That's my wish. Actually, I know a guy who's really good at driving those things. <laughs> I could give you your first ride in a, in a can. Your head will just roll all out the window. <laughs> your teeth okay? Yeah, I was about to say, who's going to volunteer to be her passenger? I think I'd be a little too scared to um, drive with her for the first We can rig up one of those, like, dual pedal stealing. Yeah, steering. you do one of the old switcheroos. She's in the Can-Am. Switch it for a yeah. You should legit have Travis hair. come out and teach her to drive. Yeah. Yeah. I think he's too crazy. Okay. I'm, like, worried to, like, reset her yeah. back. You just know. why don't you guys yeah. go back where you first met? Just take her to Travis's home. Yeah. Let, let you guys crash the three of you. Well, guys let her hit a couple jumps. <laughs> let her hit a couple of very jumps. Risky. <laughs> he doesn't hold back, dude. I was there. He had a Make a Wish kid there, and he's hitting like 150. I was jumps. with you. Yeah. Well, I was there too on that one. I was like, what, dude? This kid's like might not oh. live much longer, and you're taking him. Goes hard, dude. <laughs> what is he gonna do with Te grandma? Testing the hearts of everybody. <laughs> yes. Regardless. <laughs> how about uh, John and Sam? How uh, you drive normal cars? Yeah. Yeah. And you have them like yeah pedal extensions, so it's pretty much literally just a couple bolts that clip onto the brake, and you tighten them, and they're good to go. And then same with around. the gas. Yeah. Are you on like a, one of them old phone books? What are you sitting on? When I was younger, I used to have like a little pillow behind me, but now I just kind of like oh. lay back and cruise. Okay, yeah. Yeah. because actually this way we're actually the same size. If you yeah. look, I'm looking at him from a higher angle. Yeah. So yeah, our you're torsos, not wrong. yeah, we have like acorn <laughs> That's what I've never called. noticed that actually. And yeah. Our torsos are like average height, and then our legs and arms, so our limbs are short. And then there's a lot of things about us that are average height, yeah. which we already know earlier on in this podcast. We talked about so that. I told you this. Which is nuts. But I'm pretty sure you saw us drive in Arizona. Yes, I did. We got lucky and we got hand controls. That was and sick. I'm pretty sure, Brittany, you got last place. I beat you. I was the fastest I, oh, one. No. I, I was, was definitely slow. fastest. Oh, oh, you, I don't you, know you beat Don? That, you beat Don? Right, you're great, bud. <laughs> you beat Don Toretto? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> this girl's a street So racer. I got a question to ask you guys. When you... What made you guys wanted a... Was there ever a point that you're like, com comedy's always been in your life, like making people laugh? What made you guys decide to touch millions of lives out in the world? Because the skits you guys do 
is like so fun to watch, but it's so creative. Like, how did how did this all happen? Uh, well, I just think for us, we grow up and obviously we're small. So you can either look at your whole existence like, okay, you can be upset that you're small. You can be like, oh, I'm not like everyone else. Or you can inspire literally everybody and show that you can be unique, but you can also be amazing. And I think we also help out our little people friends as well with some inspiration and i don't know we just love to make people laugh so we use our height to make people laugh at the end of the day i feel like john and i are two of the little people that really look at life in a different perspective than everyone else mm -hmm. that's for sure because I, I don't know i feel like we grew up with good friends around us too to like make us like hey don't take any shit from this person don't take any shit from that person and we just kind of looked at the world like we can do anything that anyone else can do ah uh, i can't of, slam dunk yeah. well yeah you can on a little tight I've suit i've seen bro. you slam yeah. it yeah. yeah come on I mean, if you were asking us to i don't know because you really stuck with asking them questions up there i feel but, bad yeah, I would say uh, for Granny and I, it was all a mistake. And we started 10 years ago. And I don't know how long you've been doing it, 12, 15? 13 now. So a little after him. And it was all a joke at first, but I got like a, I got like a high off of making people smile. And I wish I would have used this brand first, but he stole it from me. Mm -hmm. Really, we live off of like our whole thing. Every time you ask us, like, what's the goal? Making the world smile. So I don't know. And she loves it too. Like when you see the people come up to us and the, they say, I was having a bad day and I saw your video or I haven't reached out to my my cousin or mom or grandpa in 20 years but you made me do it i'm so thankful like stuff like that it's literally like crack for yeah, us yeah that is an yeah. undeniable yeah. trend of little people killing it yeah. um and this dates back dude wizard of oz crushed it yeah um yeah. um willy wonka yeah like these are famous movies with little people being a massive part Everybody of loves little they people really I, swear. I, I freaking light up when i see you guys yeah, like it, it's like it's just so much joy. There, so when you put that on camera, it just translates right through the lens, man. I mean, even just, holidays, too. I mean, we've got, sorry, they don't want to be associated with this, but I'm just gonna say, yeah, You're no. really bringing up the leprechaun yeah. right now. Well, they got leprechauns, no, right, or dude. good luck. Yeah. You got elves who are making your presents for you mm. and are Santa's best friend. Is there anything else I'm missing? Is there another? Um, uh, I honestly There's can't another think. holiday. If you know. look in your grass outside you can see a gnome yeah, yeah. garden gnome a troll under the bridge or something yeah, that's huh? not good. valentine's day maybe oh, yeah, cupid. 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 cupid cupid yeah maybe, maybe cupid we're the cupid. ones that are off yeah. oh you guys are maybe not y'all are though. the ones yeah we're the ones that fit in here what the that's heck, not wild. Dude. like in in history like little people have been like good luck god i've never thought of that hmm. no wonder everybody's fascinated <laughs> yeah it's like we're surrounded with good things and little people and that's kind of how I built this whole like lucky team. charms, dude. Yeah, lucky charms. Yeah. Yeah. I love that <laughs> cereal, by the way. Amazing. The way we met is kind of unique, Ross. So like you reached yeah. out to John. Well, I built this team. I was like, I love the dynamic of opposites. Like Robin Big was a big, a little bit of inspiration to me. Mm. It was like two completely different people coming together, making people laugh. So yeah. me and my grandma, you couldn't be any more polar opposite. And then I was like, well, you know, people love an older lady doing, you know, gangster young people stuff. I was like, what about a little person doing tall things or vice versa? So I hit up John. I saw a video of him like going viral. I hit up John. And that night I said, do you want to come down? It was for Drake. It was for a Drake video. Yeah. Uh, that, it was a Kiki, Kiki challenge. Kiki, do you love me? And he hit me up at like 11 o'clock in the evening. And I'm freaking out. I'm like, an influencer hit me up. I freak out. I'm like, hey, mom, I'm going to fly out at 6 a.m. over to the USA because I'm Canadian. That's right. She's like... Just some average man. Like I've heard, uh, I've heard this happen on the news, and I don't think it ends well. I'm like, screw it. I'm, I'm flying over there. And took a leap, a man. Took a leap of faith, and now we're still here. That's and then yeah, four years later, yeah. like four or five, yeah, whatever. A year like. after John started filming with me or filming with Ross, uh, he came and visited me when I was living in Newport Beach, and we were partying. And Ross FaceTime John and gives me the phone. And shout out Steve-O. He was on one of your last episodes. Yeah. I literally grabbed the phone and look at Ross. And I go, I am the Steve-O of little people. You need me in your videos. You need me so to you come sold and do it. stuff. Oh, sold so it. He's like, this and is then, my one opportunity. And then I'm pretty sure yeah. a like, month, two later, uh, came out. Week. Yeah, a week yeah, later. Like a few and weeks ago, bro. I went off the blob, shot the Barrett 50 cow. Wait, that was all then? That, that was all yeah. within a matter of a month. Year. That was year. Yeah, that yeah. year. Yeah. Yeah. It was that, that first oh, year, man. like he was like Ross. Uh, so Ross. you just barely knew Ross. Yeah, right? Ross you should have like, came to me, dude. Yeah, I know. Oh, I could have had my little I, person. Oh my bro. gosh, we could have been fighting. Roman Atwood versus Ross and John Ferguson versus Sam fights. Wait, so you two already knew each other? How? Yeah. 
Through the little events. Yeah, through yeah. the little people conventions. We became friends when what? We were like 10 years old. I feel I like growing up, we realized we had like the same mindset about the whole world. Like we're just here to have fun. Like we want to make everyone smile. I hung out with him and then we ended up flying over there to New York City. That's yep. awesome. Well, that's why, all, that's why we all, that's why we all, Mesh so well together. We yeah, all have the same yeah. goal. Exactly. We all want to make everyone smile. smile. Make yeah. people smile. Yeah. We've made some viral videos. We have, we have. Dude. more like, in the works. Yeah. More yeah, in the works. More but the, work. the fact that we've had like at least three or four mega viral videos. Yeah. I'm talking about. So, I mean, you can queue them up whenever you want. My last one's like 21 million, and that was the least viral. That was just on Instagram. That's crazy. It that went way is, viral. I mean, so, we're talking about the Bear Fifty Cow one. Oh my god! That first one, yeah. and then the most importantly is the Blobs. I mean, those. Which one has the most views? I think John just be. Oh, uh, of that, all of them, that Barrett one went viral. Yeah. Oh. The most views overall has to be the Blob. The blob? And that was the uh, freakiest. Yeah. The blob. Dude, and I was getting hit up by every news source. Dude, ESPN was sharing. Yeah. Everybody was sharing yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. Which, by the way, is so epic. That's yeah. That was scary. It's so epic. Here's what's crazy is he's like, we're going to go to Roman Outward's house. I'm like, dude, I grew up idolizing you. I hate to brag, but like, I loved you. And then I head over there and I'm like, oh, I'm at Roman Outward's house. I'm already like freaking out. And then at the end of our little like hangout, you're like, hey, do you want to like hop on the hop on the blob I'm like dude he just asked me to hop on the blob and it's Roman Atwood so I'm like okay whatever I hop on it I was up in the air what felt like for half an hour and it was the worst <laughs> experience of my life you were up in the air I smacked oh. my face and crotch That's so not, hard dude you weren't even so up in the scary. air for that long you didn't even it go that it felt high. like an hour well you bro. held that GoPro good though yeah, that, that was impressive ripping out for life bro I don't think I would have been able to hold the GoPro on mine no, with no, all the no, flips that I was doing I probably would have yeah. hit myself in the head with the GoPro <laughs> who launched John I can't remember it was Ross. Just, same, me and Brian. Yeah. You and, Brian. And then, but Brian just decided to take some air out of mine a little bit. He may have gained a little weight in between, too. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. He was eating some hamburgers. Ross definitely was eating a little bit too much sushi and gained some Jeez, weight. Man. It was an epic clip, epic views. That one really translated. It was well. awesome. Yeah, 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 I loved it. There's a new one out there. We could run it back. We can put both of them on there. Right. Yo, me, I'm, me I'm not all on that blob ever again. How many little people can we put on the blob at once? <laughs> oh that's the <laughs> let's <laughs> let's blob a group of y'all. Let's have the next convention here. Just, yeah, just no, add, add the Atwood <laughs> compound. <laughs> Do you guys have like a whole bunch of little friends? <laughs> oh, we have a yeah. I don't know why. We have a lot of small friends. We yeah. for sure have a solid group of little people friends. That yeah, we, it's a small world. So it's a community. Yeah. 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 Outside mm -hmm. of filming, we'll definitely go hang out. Do, 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 do little gay people hit on you? Um, Honestly, Honestly, I've never had that happen. I, I no. don't know of that many. That would be that like, common or no? I just don't think they want to be out there. Like with it, like I have not seen as open a few about it for sure. Yeah, I've def I definitely know, a but few, at the but conventions, you're not like getting hit on. No, okay. not I have yeah. one focus and one focus only when I'm at the convention, so I'm not. Wow, I, I got my radar. Just, the you lights your, on. You got your numbers. Like you're a victim. Yes. And you're yeah. And what victim. happens? And you're gonna be. Well, and John and I. So <laughs> two weeks before the convention, John and I start messaging on Instagram. Oh and, yeah, they were yeah. laying the seed, yeah. man. Oh, yeah, just hitting them up. God, I'd love to read those messages. It worked for me. And so you guys do that on Instagram? Yeah. Yeah. Well, well obviously, yeah. we have the cloud on there, yeah. so you know it helps. Just hit them up on Instagram, <laughs> they scroll through. Oh my gosh, Roman Atwood followers. <laughs> Roman Atwood's in the post? I'm not responsible for this, dude. Yeah. I'm not responsible for this. So you go year after year, right? Every yeah, year. every year. Every year. Is it mm -hmm. getting awkward as you're stockpiling these people? And you show up and it's like, oh, yeah, definitely. The yeah, issue as well here. is they're all friends. All the <laughs> women are friends. So they go, wait, you walked up with him. I did too. You did too. And then it's like, then, we look like, are you like running Spider-Man meme when they're all pointing How at each other? How many years yeah. do you have before you run an out? Oh, we're close. Uh, no, yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, no, no. I think no. it's like three more and then we just have to the we're recycle. Close. Like, like another 5,000 people. No, for the, I, gotta, the convention we gotta start our own podcast. Convention. Like, we need <laughs> it on this. I guarantee you, uh, a year it's going to be trouble. Like there's going to be it's some. It's fine to conflict. recycle. It helps the earth. So yeah. since you're all recycling, do you ever at the same time? Um, actually, the <laughs> the first time I met Ross, Ross, I think you should tell the story. <laughs> no. Oh, wait, no. what can I should we take Brady's headphones off? <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna use uh, French uh, terminology. You may know what Menage a Trois is here. Yeah, the okay. Eiffel Tower. Okay, whatever. There's, it's it involves three people. Um, we love actually it's this. half. Yeah, so it's like half off half. You sure? I'm wearing a faith t-shirt right now. Yeah. <laughs> this is, might not be the right I'm look. just talking about grown adults living grown adult life. Yeah. I don't know why this I is. Love that. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to tell you a story then. All right. You asked for it. So the first time I flew up Sam out to New York with John to do this TV show, 
Um, it was it was Granny Chelsea. You guys saw her making out with Kid Rock the other day. Yeah, me, Gosh, Granny Chelsea, awesome. John, and Sammy. Yeah, so like the the power team. And I'm out. We're out one night. We have a shoot at 7 a.m. We're out getting drinks. Uh, I just wanted to show the guys Times Square or something. And they're like, Ugh. I'm like, I'm going back. We're going to be up at 7 to start filming. And they're like, um, we'll be back 15 minutes. We just want to finish our beers. And I was like, okay. All right. You guys can do your thing. <laughs> I wake up in the morning and I say, guys, I just sent a text out. Um, hey, it's time to get up. We got to go shoot. And John says, come down here. Someone wants to meet you. I said, What? I've already met Sammy, dude. Like, <laughs> we've been filming all week. He's like, no, seriously, someone wants me to. Do. I walk in there with Chelsea because she wanted to come down. She's like dying. What's going on in there? And um, the boys, yeah, they had themselves a menage a trois. I walk in and there's this uh, lady <laughs> sitting in the bed. Sammy looks like he's, oh, he's, and she says, oh my gosh, Ross, big fan some. to meet you. Know, nice to meet you. And, I'm, and she's under the covers. And I said, what just happened? How did you guys, in the 15 minutes that I left, find another little person in New York oh, City? Oh, she was a little person. Yep. Yes. Yeah. So this yes. was a, it was pre, a little a tower. Hit up or no? No, yeah. she just lived in New York, and John and I like let her know that we're there, and then so I pre- had already hooked up with her ahead yeah. of this. Oh my! Yeah, but so I said I have a friend if you want to switch it up. So and it yeah. happened. So <laughs> and little this is, demons. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Sorry, Granny. Um, it's alright. That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to church after this. Um, and she's like, "Yes, we are." And yeah, I mean, I won't get into too many details, but I just couldn't believe they somehow managed to pull that off in, the, in some teeny amount of time. And well, I don't think we got that much sleep that night either. And we still sorry, killed no pun intended. Teeny. teeny amount of time. I get it. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Wow, man. You guys A are just living time. it. And neither one of you are ready to settle down, um, give yourself to the Lord. I don't he know. might be actually. He's speaking to a woman right now. It's exclusive, I think. No, no, no. There's I no, want them no to settle down. I want them to like. He's like, we're recording yeah, right now. There, there's no title on this, John. Yeah. I want them to settle down. I just, they need to like calm down for a second. Sammy, you're how old? I'm 23. John's yes. turning 25. Yeah. 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 I'm getting there halfway to 30. He's almost <laughs> fully 30, though. Yeah. You're not yeah, even 30. Man. I turned 30 in Come a to month. the dark side. So, so a month young. today. You guys may be scared. These are kids, Granny. I know. These are kids. Yeah. That's yeah, crazy. Think about she's life. like over three That's times true. my age. That's over. amazing. And she keeps up with us. Granny, you have any crazy uh, fantasies? <sighs> Dude, you know, just <laughs> transitioning from what we just talked about to this. <laughs> No, I mean like. Uh, is there anything you want to do besides drive, or anybody you want to meet, or who's your yeah. favorite person besides me? Oh, <laughs> funny, <laughs> <laughs> funny. Uh, well, I, I just can't put it together. Who do you? Who's one of your favorite people you've ever met? Then what? Are who did? Who did you really enjoy filming with? Mm. Uh, uh, you mean the people I met? Yeah, who's one of your favorite people? Chuck Norris. Oh! I do like Chuck. <laughs> he was so genuine with everyone. Aw. Yeah, he, he just reached out. He choked out me out. Just Actually? Just great. He put David Dobrik out. He, he, Chuck I almost did, but David Dobrik was completely out. That's a cool title. That's I mean, a, if you're going to get choked yeah. out. Get choked yeah, out. Yeah, I was like, I was like tapping. And he's like 78 or something. But he, David Dobrik was completely out cold. Just knocked him out. Yeah, it was wild. That's cool. I got knocked out by Chuck Norris. That sounds yeah, yeah, that's something that'd be on your grave. So yeah. He wanted to, Granny and I, we were, at a brand, we were doing a brand deal. He wanted Granny and I to stay at his like um, compound in Texas. Super sweet. Like mm. He had like museums and like toys everywhere. And like a dojo, or is that what you call the? Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, but the people running the brand deal wouldn't let us stay. Well, what? I was like, he's like, Granny Ross, you stay here, have the, stay, we have plenty of rooms for you. And I was like, dude, this is a dream. I'm going to stay with Chuck right? Norris' house. And, uh, yeah, we were doing Chuck Norris jokes the whole day. It was awesome. That's epic. What a good time. Yeah, you've got to do some just awesome things. I know. Awesome things. Yeah. I have a question for you. Yeah. Since you're asking Granny about her yeah, podcast. Yeah, this is your podcast. So. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you never get interviewed. Come on. <laughs> is there anything you want to do that's like, you know, yeah, that you yeah. haven't done? Yeah, like, oh, so you got excited. Great. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, I want to hear. I'll, I'll, tell you, I'll tell you what I'm about to do. All right. And this just, I actually just finalized it yesterday. Mm-hmm. This morning. Yeah. Oh, I think I know. You signed it this morning. I just purchased a helicopter. <gasps> no, sir. And I'm a about to become a pilot. I'm going to spend the next year. Oh. I'm going to take my time, but I've but I've got a pilot that's okay. going to spend the next year with me, and it doesn't take that long. 
but I'm going to spend a ton of time in this helicopter. And I've heard the best way to do it, if you really want to do it, is to buy the helicopter and then train in the chopper. So congratulations. Thank you. What good news. Yeah, I get she to, I get to, to get out of the She can drive I'd the like helicopter. Wait, what's, I think this episode goes live on the 10th. I get to pick it up on the 10th. Oh, so you're going to wrap it? So as this is going everything? up, I don't know. I don't you should. Probably. Yeah. No, I don't know. I don't know. So that's that's something that I've dreamed to do. I have a. I just found a vlog from seven years ago that says, "Mark my words, one day I will be a helicopter pilot." Oh, I love seven that. Seven years ago, so I'm doing it. We're doing it to actually together. She's oh. gonna be a pilot. Hey, you too. Yeah, I'll come pick you up. Precious. Up, I yeah. love this. So yeah. I get to I get to bring it back from Texas, flying from Texas on the tenth. Yeah. Yeah. You're not yeah. flying it back. Oh, yeah. yeah. How long does that yeah. process take to get your license? It's not long, but I don't, I don't want to do just that. I want to yeah. spend like a it's like year. It's 40 you can hours, right? Yeah, it's only 40 hours or oh, something. Yeah. Gosh, you can amazing. legally drive it back. You can fly it anywhere you want. How long is it going to take can, you? We can go down to Florida and go to the Keys like anywhere. It takes like six to eight hours You have to probably fill up a bunch, right? They, mm, maybe twice. It takes jet fuel. It's jet fuel. You can park. You can go anywhere. So and get you're going to have your own jet fuel. At your, I assume you're going to have this at your house? Yeah. That's, so you're going to have like a whole like. No, I just fly to a local airport. Fill it oh, up. okay. Yeah, they're, they're everywhere. You if need, you go up in the sky, you can see an airport. That's crazy. That's so yeah. Cool. But you don't need like some crazy license to go up in the air. Yeah, you do. You I mean, be, like, I thought be, it was way harder than that. There's like three different licenses there's like a private, a commercial, and a. I'll just instructor. have a private license. So you couldn't pay me. Yeah, but you right. can't like drive by like certain landmarks and stuff. Like, yeah, it's all on it's all it's all on a map. Yeah, okay, like if there's you. a game going on, you can't like go over the stadium. You know, stadium. Yeah, there's or, there's restricted airspace, but for the most part, dude, hop in your sick. chopper and fly anywhere. Is I want. it what kind of? Well, I wouldn't maybe know. Is it small, big? Like, it's a it's like five seater. Seats. Yeah, I can get the. Right. Damn, we're coming with you. Yeah, dude, we, sure. dude, we'll be going yeah. everywhere. All these the UFC fights we've been going to. Looks like we got to pull up in a chopper next. Bro, time. imagine yeah. getting that clearance way. to land. Bro, that's why we aren't gonna settle down, bro. Yeah. Imagine the woman we could have. Bro, I if got. We if we have a helicopter. I got. I got it. Dope chopper, bro. Oh, I can't you guys are gonna I love it. Man. You just drop the ladder down in front of the bar, and they just climb up with girls. <laughs> Turtle dust so start flying out. The next six yeah, months uh, to a year, I'm gonna spend like as many hours as I can in this thing. That's, yeah, that's dude, so I'm gonna, cool. I'm gonna be. That's awesome. Grinding. So it's like just one of those goals I've always had. I, I love do. that. Yeah, I'm excited. I, I'm so happy for so you. So on your 97th, we're gonna take a big flight. Oh, I, I'll go for it. Where do you want to go? <laughs> Anywhere in the world? Where you want to well, go? Well, I'll think it over. I'll think it over. You've been some beautiful back places. Oh, back to Mardi Gras. <laughs> well, like I said, my family lives in California. It's a long flight. Yeah. The helicopter. <laughs> not, not in a helicopter. I mean, unless you want to go camping. Oh, we can, we can, oh, oh, oh He camp? could literally take you home because her home's like two and a half hours away. You, he could take you home in oh, I don't know, I'd, 30 oh, minutes. Oh, what I love That'd be that. epic. That's I, the beauty of this thing, I dude. like yeah. that. <laughs> I can't wait, man. I what can't wait. good news I'm hearing. You're both going to learn how to drive. Yeah. <laughs> a car and a helicopter, the same thing, right? Same week. Yeah. <laughs> Heck yeah. That's awesome. She can drive the truck. We can put it on a trailer and we can take it to California. And then we... <laughs> Yeah, I don't know how that works. I don't know how no, that works. I'm just, just hopping I the didn't board. know, you know. I just, out of the blue, centered. That's You're awesome. getting old? Uh, that what? what the hell are you talking about, dude? Wait. Uh, uh, she uh, didn't that take the meds. Going with a helicopter to California. Yeah. That's what, it's no one no. We take a plane to California. Yeah, yeah. that's right. She dated the Wright brothers. That's right. That's the, that's the next <laughs> thing. I think. Did, were, were, you were with, with one of the Wright brothers when they were... Uh, I, I or, or was it Orville? Not the popcorn dub. The, <laughs> the guy that drives the plane in Dayton. Yeah, they, yeah, yeah, I don't know. I, I forget. I, uh, honey, I, uh, tell me in the beginning. You what dated just, the guys who made the airplane. I can't remember See? right now. I can't put it together. So, that, so it could have happened. I, I know it happened. <laughs> <laughs> she knows it happened. I know it happened. <laughs> so what's the, what's the dreams, Ross? You're You're creating... Massive content all over multiple platforms. You you do that one of the best that I know. I'm Appreciate like, that. I do YouTube and yeah. uh, you've like mastered Snapchat and TikTok and Instagram and like you're everywhere. Like that's a lot to manage. Yeah, it is. Like I what's mean, the goal with all this? Like obviously you're making people happy, you're inspiring, you're building a, a nest for your future, yeah. investing. I think I'm just going to enjoy, I, I'm going to do it until I stop enjoying it, man. 
And some days I don't enjoy it, but right now I feel good. Like with a team around me, like if I don't want to do something, you know, I can ask yeah. little guys or grandma, you know, I mean, grandma wants to have a week off, whatever, yeah. you know, but Wait, I'm, I'm can, I, can I ask you this question? Cause everybody probably wants to know yeah. what happens when granny's not your star anymore. I don't know, man. I have Are a you going to hire a new granny, dude? No, I don't think so. You can't so. replace her. Probably a grandpa, to be honest with you. Just switch it up? Yeah. No, I don't know. I don't know. I, do, I think I'm just like living day by day. Because this whole thing was an accident. Yeah. I never actually <laughs> wanted to be, a, like the kids now, they want to be like YouTubers and TikTokers. It was all an accident. I just, just was playing football and going to college and I just picked up a phone. And, and you're going to play like, football again. Yeah. Big story there, too. I'm yeah, gonna, I'm, before I turn 30, I'm going to try and play one more pro football game. Actual. Just yeah. one more. Like, who do you want to play for? My old team in Germany. But I pulled my hamstring the other day training because I'm oldest. The Hulk could Welcome be, to so. 30, bro. <laughs> He's got no, bro. So, I feel like my first back ache was, ache was around that age. Yeah. Uh, but, I mean, as you know, like, dude, the finances have been fine. Like, I could retire. I could do whatever I yep. want. But I just do it because yep. I enjoy it. Yep. Uh, I feel you. And you've been through, like, burnouts and ups and downs and everything. So have I. So it's oh, just. Oh, man. You don't, don't really know. know how exhausting this stuff is until you take a break, and you're like, "Wow, what was I doing?" I, I actually, yeah. I get, I get anxiety once I take the break because I can't get out of it. Mm -hmm. I get so comfortable doing mm -hmm. nothing that I can't get going again. So, like every year in January, I try to take off time, and then I struggle for the next few months. Yeah, because like, you're addicted to the views. Yeah. you're I mean, addicted what, to the high you get from the, yeah. the algorithms. You could see in our videos, like they're kind of crappy the first part of the year, and then now we're like we're feeling it. You we're get the we're roll. moving, like yeah. we're rolling. Yeah, you and, always like, talk about that. Yeah, you got to just keep like the ball rolling, and thankfully, like they can come in and inspire me because yeah. like some days I just don't want to freaking film. Oh, best energy ever! Yeah. Yeah. You guys, what would you movie stars? What do you want to do? Like, what's the next move when when Ross is like? I'm retired. Yeah. What you just said, movie star. Yeah? yeah. Movie star? Be Let's there, get you in a movie, but dude. But in a non, like, little person role. Yeah. So, like, how Peter Dinklage was in Game of Thrones type of thing. Not like a... Yeah, he was cute, though, man. I don't think elf. we could... Not an Oompa no, Loompa. I, 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 I want to be, like, a badass cop. <laughs> oh. <laughs> dude, <laughs> who would, who's afraid of you, though? If you go, hey, That's slow the down. Thing. They're going to run away from you. Bro, I get a... Shut up, kid. I get a... Shut up, you little turd. You're like an elementary cop. Honestly, I could see John and I being on like a reality TV show. Oh so, yeah, so. we could do a reality <laughs> show with us. You guys are natural on camera. You guys should do Big yeah. Brother. Yeah, that would, yeah. like a little person dating show. You know the views that would oh, get. Oh, that'd be good. If we I brought feel, in, I feel like it, I feel like it would hurt your content though. Like yeah. you guys are creating viral content constantly, mm -hmm. being stuck on a show where you can't film for mm -hmm. six months. That'd be horrible. Yeah. It would probably. That's why we don't do it. Yeah, that's why we don't. That's why we never. We had. Uh, amazing race all these shows all the time wanted us on but it, we couldn't vlog and you're on them shows a long time mm -hmm. so it's like no nah, we can't dude I did can't 10 vlog. days with Shark Tank and I wanted to I lost my mind I was like never I'm not doing it again mm. like I lost so much opportunity in that 10 days man dang yeah that's but, the truth of it it's like yeah. takes away from yeah. what you're where your butter is we actually so, just got called from Amazing Race and yeah. they're like you want to do it and we thought about it and we're like no we can't the we, huge problem we're not getting me. paid bro it mm. was in Q4, where we like, they have, we need to hang around him. In That's biggest. Q4, Q4 so. is we biggest not to. views yeah. across boards, right? That's oh, usually when it, everyone's at home with also, their money. Also, yeah. brands are spending the most money. They're, Christmas, they're dumping man. the rest of their money for the year so yeah. they can get new money. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, I hear you on that. I feel like country's going to say something. They just keep no, them off. I'm just like process all in. Yeah. I wanted to ask you guys. Um, so, as a child growing up, like watching humor, one of my favorite TV shows that I love because the comedy, I look at what you guys have created and what has Roman and Brittany. Like I was used to watch a living color and, and it was a popular TV show that had like some of the rem remarkable, um, like actors, like, have you guys thought about doing something like a Saturday night live type thing, but also in that YouTube type world where like you're working with celebrities, but doing those fun skits like you're doing and, and just making it like, this is the time you come and watch us live. Do it live instead of more just a, a recording thing. Wow. I mean, dude, the, the, this is why we're always like nervous to go on podcasts too. Because we're like... Uh, Giving up secrets? No, we're like, we like to make... We, we love the beauty in the final cut. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, we like, like to, we screw yeah. up a lot. Yeah. And people don't realize that. Especially grandma and, <clears throat> and even I, like, we're not, we're not born actors. So, like, and even stand-up. You're not what actors? Born, they were not born into <laughs> acting, whatever, whatever the hell. Shut up. No, he um, thought you said a different word. 
I thought you said porn actor. Porn. <laughs> oh. I mean, I don't know. One of them might be. After that Mardi Gras story, I don't know either. Um, but yeah, we make so many cuts, dude. Like we we love yeah. having that ability. Well, I to, like, think all up. creators do. Yeah, yeah. I mean, Even vlogging daily. There's tons of times where like, I'm gonna do that again. When I see my stand up friends like perform, I'm like, I couldn't, I couldn't do it because they, they when a when a person in the crowd heckles them, they just. They fire back. I'm like, I would have to think. I'd have to write that yeah. joke out. That's what makes a good comedian. Yeah. Fast. Yeah. But those guys Fires. are not good on digital. Mm. They all, almost every, you, you can, it'd be hard to find a good comedian who's like crushing it on both digital and like stand up. I Vaughn. don't get it. Theo Vaughn would probably do well. But he doesn't do skits and stuff. He just yeah. does, he's really good. He's fast. Yeah. He's good. Adam's S- killing it, I feel like, behind the camera though. Adam Ray, yeah. he's one yeah. of the guys that can like put a camera in front of his face and he just yeah. kills it. It's no awesome. Matter what. Yeah, I mean, some people are just naturals with it. Yeah. Real, so to answer your question, real for, entertainers. for me and Granny, we'd struggle with those guys. Maybe. I, I could see John and I doing like a carpool karaoke. <clears throat> with, oh, like, we love to oh, say. With, with like epic. celebrities or something and throughout the carpool karaoke, or like a hot things, just hitting yeah. those with the, like crazy questions. Little people yeah. conventions. <laughs> all, all the crazy <laughs> stuff. Yeah. Menage Matois or however you say. What would your band name be? Like all little people, like it's gotta be, all the it's gotta be small thing. Thing. <laughs> yeah. When I first met John, I played like ten songs like that. Yeah, I've I've tried that. I've pulled up to the house playing Oompa Loompa. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, you guys have heard it all. But when you do it, like we love it. Like yeah. Ross does it. It's like a uh, come on, Ross. Yeah, it's offensive, uh, Ross. Yeah. Yeah. Ross. You're not read the room. Me. So is the uh, is the uh, M word. Is yeah. that is that actually offensive? Oh, it's super offensive for okay. our whole community. Obviously, us like we don't really. You guys mind. are just down to earth, yeah. whatever. But but for our friends and all of them, they hate it. So we don't really use. So it's it. a real it's thing. Yeah. Oh, for sure. So the correct terminology people like being called like little people, little people, uh, dwarf, or just their name. If you know their name, just call them their name. If you know their name. Yeah. But for us, like no words don't hurt me really. So if like, somebody walked by. No, Watch out, M word. No, no, it's it. usually me. I yeah. get mad. I'm like, yo, man. I don't say get mad. I just educate because I was the same way. I had to teach. I probably even the first time I saw you, I was like, dude, it's little people or dwarf. I did not. Yeah. First of all, I didn't know uh, it was offensive. Secondly, I. I have had multiple people that I'm like, hey, just so you know. Yeah. Um, they're like, oh, really? I had no clue. Like, you really don't know? I have a funny story. I don't know. Yeah. You can cut this out, too. No, don't give it. Your dad one time. Oh, my dad would be the first. To he yeah. kept telling them, no, it's not offensive. And I was dying. Oh, my you dad's telling you? Yeah. That it's not offensive? Yeah. Yes, it was I the remember. funniest thing. It was when we were shooting the bear at Vindy Cal. First time. No he's like, way. He's like, it's not offensive. I know. He's going back like, and forth. He's telling that. you guys. This yeah. yeah. Where was I, I at? That's your dad. And that was the first time I met your dad, too. And I'm like, okay, this is how it's going to be. Uh, I, was that, like, I was like, telling his dad. That like, sounds right. exactly like my dad, though. He's so open, dude. Yeah. He's just, I love it. I love it, though. At the end of the day, I was laughing. That does. Awesome. Wow, that's funny. Does anything offend you? Like like uh, old not, fart? Not um, really. Yeah, that's a trigger right there. <laughs> yeah. No, I guess not. It'd be hard to offend Granny. How how could you even say something that would hurt her? <laughs> Shut you, up. No, just, you'd have to be a low life, dude. Like yeah. it'd have to be like some of your footage just leaks. <laughs> dude, people people like rent. There's there's like a few sad people out there in this world, and I've seen some DMs and like comments. I'm like, of course, telling her like the mean like meanest possible thing you could think of, and I'm like, man, I'm glad I'm like old enough to handle it. Because yeah. I was imagine if I was like one of those young TikTokers, like 15 years old, and I got one of those comments in. It's oh, be so that'd be hard. like. Well, we all started with it, though. No matter what your age is, yeah. you start with those comments, and you yeah. get beat up, you get beat up, and then your skin starts getting thicker and thicker. Yeah. But even still to this day, you can read 10,000 good comments. And that one just And there's one you, that you're like, why does this bother me? It, yeah, the other, it's still, yeah. still. It's still a thing, no matter how long you do it. What's Did funny? it ever get you? Mm-hmm, oh. For sure. Yeah. For years and years. It's still... Every day. Didn't you say like, wasn't you that said something about like TikTok? They were like coming after you or something. Oh my gosh, TikTok's ruthless. I yeah. hate TikTok. Really? Always. It's yeah. like the comments rough on TikTok? For her, I mean for us it's like. It's like a bunch yeah. of. Uh, it just depends on the video. If, yeah. If we have a video go on some other page on Instagram, it's not our page. I can't look. I'm like, oh my gosh, people are just going in. That happens to me a lot. Yeah, yeah when I'm on somebody else's stuff. Yeah. 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 Ha- that happens to me a lot because it's not your fans necessarily. Yeah. Yeah. They don't stick up for you over there. Yeah. It's a hard life on the other side. I yeah. think John and I were prepared for that just growing oh, up. Oh, we like, get roasted. Like we were getting in the roasted comments. as little really? kids without oh, being all the time. Famous, I can't so, see like, that. I literally couldn't see one it's bad comment. literally how we 
grew up yeah. though. Like we got blasted growing up. Mm, honestly, and, like, like you just can't, at one cer- a certain point, you just start canceling out. Like you go to normal school with normal people. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, yeah. And then, mm-hmm. what? oh, average oh, person. I can't say normal. It's okay. No, and, 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 cancel, cancel. I have I have the normal card, dude. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like I said earlier, John and I were raised with really badass group of friends. I think I yeah. can speak for the both of us of in course. saying that. I know multiple. Just always my, had your back. Yeah. Also, mm-hmm. so I can't even count how many times my friends have actually gotten a physical fist fight growing up with someone. And like, dude, it's fine. Why you didn't have to do that? Well, they're making fun of my best friend. So it's like, no, that's awesome, dude. That's why. Like, I know it's a bad way to term it, but how low do you gotta go to pick on you guys? Oh, but yeah. here's the thing: if you are, <laughs> dude, like if you're in high so school, how do you mean to do even, that? The low thing? It was an accident, yeah, but I thought it's it so before. Easy. Yeah, I thought it before. How I feel low? like there's just so many haters out there, but it's just like, what is wrong with you? Like, what's happening in your head? No, it's all. They all yeah, have something like, personally going on. 100 yeah. percent. Yeah, like because like it's like I've never. Left a hate comment on anything. Never, never. never. I'm the but one, I'm a happy guy. I actually have like ten different accounts, and I'm the reason that you're the, you're, the, yeah. <laughs> you're like too better. Yeah, yeah. Hey, you Hobbit, like, grow, you're the, man. Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. That's me, you guys Sorry, are guys. You guys are amazing. I've enjoyed every single day I get with you guys, all of y'all. Some of the trip we've already taken. We've done a lot, actually. Yeah. More, many than, more to come. Yeah, yeah. We have we've actually done a lot now. We've been to hang Arizona. out this weekend. It got canceled. Oh, the Jake Paul that fight. Was, so that yeah, it's already old news now, but by the time yeah. this comes out, but so bummed. So we bummed. We randomly become like fight friends. Yeah. And we're not fighting each other. We're just going to fights. We should. You started it off. Yeah, I was thinking, what do you think? Of, I don't know if that would end well. Me guys. and Sam and John versus you. Oh, we, got, we got it for sure. Oh, we got, we got that. Yeah. Britt versus Grandma. Britt, oh, <laughs> <my> opening <laughs> match. <laughs> Our I think it is. One of them head videos <laughs> yeah. fly off. Yeah, yeah. She's. I found her head twice. Uh, people don't know what I'm talking about, but I keep knocking my grandma's head off. Yeah, in next videos. the next video, she just got to drop to her knees. And, yeah, yeah. Right. yeah. She stands there like. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like how you do it PG though when her head flies off. There's no, no blood. blood I thought about that. I was like TikTok, take it down immediately. Everything, take, I'm surprised so it's up. We do it like cheesy humor. Freaking screw TikTok, man. I say it out loud every time I get a chance. Hate that I platform. I I love Can't it. believe you support that place. I support everything, man. I was a viner. I lost everything. You know what, though? The podcast is killing it on TikTok. <laughs> so <laughs> it's just, yeah, they get you with numbers, man. That's why you're there. You asked me why I did everything at the very beginning of this podcast. And I was like, because I was a viner and I didn't cr- like cross pollinate, whatever the word would be, yeah. uh, to everything else. And I, I had nothing. So when I vined out, I had nothing. So I, yeah. luck, I got lucky on Facebook and I restarted everything. So my whole thing is like, I won't not do something. I do YouTube. I, uh, yeah, you're everywhere. I mean, my yeah. head would explode. Yeah, these guys are even on uh, RedTube. I mean, they we're doing everything. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we might be, honestly. You might be. <laughs> because he asked, what would happen if we left you? Well, we'd be actors. And if that won't work, adult we're going to be yeah, content. You ever worried about one of these girls throwing a curveball and ruining your career? Sheesh. No. No, because I just throw fastballs, so <laughs> <laughs> I don't have to worry about the curve. No, I mean, afterwards, we're friendly with them, and we have a relationship <laughs> with them in, like, a friendship way. So you buy like, them a purse mm-hmm. or something? What do you the, do, man? Yeah, like, no, we're breakfast. just, like, actually friendly people yeah. afterwards. We're like, hey, that was fun. It's so, all part of the for, game for at this point. For how crazy we see you at the on next camera, convention. We are, <laughs> they're nice guys. We are sweethearts. I know you yeah, guys are. friendly people. I know you guys are. That's why it's hard for me to believe some of these stories. But, mm-hmm. yeah. but, but also, people— People naturally act different around me and Britt. Like, we're mom and dad to a lot of people. Like, when we're around, you see a different... Like, I don't see the real version of people, but I, I get it through other people. Ah. Yeah. Other people, because it's a big circle, everybody. Mm-hmm. So other people tell me, oh, well, this is well, this is what's really going on. I'm like, Bri- well, I wouldn't... Brian, I, especially. I would never <laughs> see that. Yeah. Because a lot of times people are, you know, pretty, they, uh, they don't myself. cuss as much. They don't... Yeah, it's like... Unfortunately, I'm like, I don't filter myself enough because I'll, I'll call you on speakerphone and then your kids will be in the room and yeah. I'll drop an F-bomb. Yeah, and you're dude. like, dude. You're the best. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you're just the best. Or Ross and I, I like, go to a UFC fight and just start slamming beers. Yeah, well, we get yeah, yeah, well, that's it. That's, that's, I would never, yeah. Like, we, We're don't, working we, we actually it. don't care about any of it. Yeah. But it's yeah. funny how, yeah, people yeah. act different around us. We're like mom and dad. That's what we can do. Granny, yeah, you got to stop. You got to open up. Say what you want to say. Sell what you want to sell on this. Have you ever just oh, wanted to say, want, F the police? You mean drugs? Yeah, I mean, no. dude, I don't know. When's the last time you smoked dope, Granny? Oh, it's been a while, but I'm ready to go back. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> right. Yeah, I'm, I'm 
<laughs> How they got his blue snot out of my mouth. Exactly. Well, right up his <laughs> Growing up, we all smoked cigarettes. That was the thing. That was the thing. Marble and Man. And my brother rolled, you know, made his own cigarettes. Oh, they but hey, else. Uh, we it was all good. We didn't cause any problems. Everything. You were a good kid. And then... Uh, I, I stopped smoking about 50 years ago, but I'll, t- I'll tell you the truth. I'm ready to go back. You, you I, asked, I'm sincere. You asked me what's next, Snoop Dogg. Yeah. I've never smoked before. Yeah. Never. Never. You've smoked. I've never You've smoked. Tried. Everybody, they can attest. I've okay. never okay. smoked. Okay. I really do. Uh, really and do. I will smoke with Snoop. And I'm I, gonna take it with I me. I feel like it might not be the best place to start. No, I know, you just get yeah, a He smokes a lot. Of that's reason. like that's like saying I've never cliff jumped. I'm just gonna start at 200 feet. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I've never parachuted, but I'm gonna go by myself. That's literally what he's saying. <laughs> I feel like, well, man, I don't know, dude. It'd be a uh, great. Con- I'm gonna do it once, it. and I'm gonna do it with Snoop, and then hopefully not be because I've because I've heard even people that smoke is tough to smoke with Snoop. He yeah. smokes so much. I don't. That'd be cool though, right? I don't know. I know it's not cool to me, but I'm sure you know. I mean, for my first time, if I were to do it ever, I I, I know the that's feeling. That's who you do it with, right? I uh, and I want her to be his drug dealer the whole entire time. Like, where is he? You have not worked with Snoop Dogg. No, if you know anybody, anybody out there knows. I have a you get with very Snoop. close friend with Snoop Dogg. Yeah, yeah, dog. Yeah, <laughs> you know, dog. His puppy. You know dog. <laughs> no, no, I have a super, super close friend. Okay, that's well, off camera. Tell me. Yeah, yeah, of course. Drive us in your helicopter. We'll, we'll do a little collab. Mm-hmm. Yeah, dude. That's it. How sick would be somebody like guests flying in and I can just pick them up in the chopper? Oh, it's so, so, so yeah. sick. It's happening. It's coming. You got some crazy people lined up besides us. Yeah, you guys are the craziest so far. I can't imagine you're going to top some of the stories you've heard today, but that's, that's, and you have had like Steve and stuff, but no, like, we unique. have a dynamic. We yeah. got elderly. We but got, also, I'm close with you guys that we can, we yeah, can, yeah, we yeah, can be a little on the wild side. Yeah. yeah. A lot of guests that, you know, I know, but I don't really know their life. Yeah. And I want to use their story to inspire the viewer. So yeah. today's all about the fun, little wild, just like a different episode. Well, why don't you yeah. give us some inspiration to end it off? Granny, if, if you could, if you could lift people and, and and give your best advice to the to the humans that are listening that might be in a in a in a, in a low point in their life, what would you what would you tell them? Uh, just keep going. Don't give up. There is so much happiness ahead, and. Go and do and see things. Bang. That's smoke great. weed every day. <laughs> That's the <laughs> one. I was, I was waiting smoke for that. Smoke a cigarette every day. <laughs> Jeez, ripping darts. I like that. Holy. Well, yeah. um, if you guys don't have anything else, I think I'm going to wrap it up. What do you think? Well, unlike those two, they... Oh, they we wrap it up, bro. Oh, yeah, you yeah, need to go we, there. We, yeah, come My on, brain man. didn't even go there at all. Yeah, oh, his, that, his brain <laughs> always goes there. We yeah, we're going to go to the up. local uh, Minute Clinic here. So, we, yeah, we got to get out of here. All right. Yeah. She needs a denture um, adhesive and they need... Speaking of denture adhesive, today's podcast is sponsored by... <laughs> Glad. Granny's adhesive for <laughs> nighttime dentures, so you don't have to take them out anymore. No. <laughs> you know how many times I've gone to, I've gone into the bathroom at her house, and there's just that green jar with the teeth floating in it. No, I've never seen that in my life. Oh, oh yeah. man, it's, it's creepy. It's you gotta clean them. Well, uh, like I say, this is the way it was is now. It wasn't like that a few years ago. Mm. Just because she was mates. eating too many jawbreakers. <laughs> a big she got to the middle. Over me. <laughs> that, 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 that stuff you're seeing is probably Mountain Dew, dude. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Dipping them in. Yeah. All right, I love you all so much. You're yeah. amazing, yeah. man. Thanks for having us. We love you. Really. You're the best. I love you, too. And, yeah. Uh, yeah, guys, thanks for watching, listening, supporting, subscribing. <laughs> um, we love you. You're beautiful. You're one of a kind. Smile more. Keep smiling. <laughs> Thank yeah. you. Yeah. That was fun, guys. Let's Let's go. Go. That was so much fun. Good job, Granny. Cool. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Oh. Reaching out. Taking those.